Okay, so these are going to, are serrano peppers, and they are definitely going to be a little bit hotter than just a, a bell pepper, which doesn't have any heat at all. And so you're just going to want to cut off the stem end and a tiny bit of the tip just to even it up a little bit. And if you're not comfortable working with a large chef knife with such a small piece of food, it's totally appropriate to use your paring knife. Cut this off. Cut a little tiny bit of the tip of the chili off and then do slice it lengthwise like this and then you can do a couple of things with it. Um, I do like to cut this rib out if I'm looking to reduce the heat a little bit okay because that is going to be where the spice is located is in that rib and on those seeds and so after you get that rib removed then you can just make some little slices and you can do this with your chef knife if you're comfortable doing that. This is just another option if you're not as comfortable doing that. It's totally appropriate. Another thing that you could do if you don't want just little dice after you remove the rib and the seeds just lay the chili out and make really tiny, thin slices. There we go. And so if, when you're using these chilies, I do think that a lot of people appreciate a very small dice on those chilies. It's harder to accomplish with the paring knife. So when you're comfortable with the French knife, use that. Notice I'm cutting away from my hand to get that rib and seeds out of there. And then again, it's easier with your French knife or your chef knife to make little tiny, teeny tiny strips. And then stack those up and make little tiny, teeny tiny dice. fine dice for whatever you're going to be making with those chilies.